So let's look at uh, two-dimensional motion, like, like um, projectile motion problems. Remember, the deal with this is that it's just two suvats, a horizontal and a vertical one. Um, and then we're also going to use vectors, right? So, so uh, we're going to use Sokotoa. Uh, we're going to use that the, the, uh, x squared plus y squared is the hypotenuse squared, right? Uh, even that uh, tangent of theta, right, is opposite over adjacent and all this stuff, right? So let's go ahead and do a, um, a cliff problem like this, right? Uh, and the trick here is that we want to do one of these little tables like this, right? Uh, horizontal is this way, vertical is that way, right? U, V, A, T. Right, and the only, the only thing that's the same is time. Time is on both sides, right? Uh, and then we know that because this is a cliff problem, they, they project themselves out horizontally like this. Uh, that the horizontal velocity, whatever it is, is going to be the same initially and finally, right? Uh, the initial vertical velocity is zero. The acceleration is negative 9.81. Uh, we know that it's uh, the horizontal velocity is 9.21. And assuming that they didn't recently eat at Taco Bell and have no way to like jet themselves out into space, right? Um, the final velocity is 9.21 meters per second because the horizontal acceleration is zero. And then uh, time is 2.17 seconds, and that's both horizontally and vertically, right? Okay, and now we're all set. We can just solve things. Um, on this side, for this guy, all you have to do is, uh, the only formula we're ever going to use is um, uh, S equals UT, right? And it really is plus 1 half AT squared, but A is 0, so it's just S equals UT, right? So S is going to be 9.21, uh, that's our velocity times 2.17, right? So uh, 9.21 times 2.17, that's 19.9857, right? Okay, and then let's see, final velocity on this side here. I would use V equals U plus AT to find the final velocity, right? So that's 0 plus A, which is this, times this, right? So negative 9.81 times 2.17, and that's negative, uh, uh, V is negative 21.2877. So that's our final velocity. Right, and then our uh, displacement. I guess I could use we could use uh, s equals u t plus one half. Whoops, u t plus one half a t squared. Right, so that's just going to be uh, on this side. Right, it's going to be it's going to be uh, zero. Right. Right, so it's going to be 0 plus 1 half times negative 9.81 times 2.17 squared. Right, so 0 0.5 times negative 9.81. So it's going to displace itself down, right, times 2.17 squared. And I get negative, uh, I get S equals negative 23.097 meters. Okay. Okay, so let's see which, which ones we've answered. How far out does she land? Uh, well, that's a horizontal thing. So there's the answer, about 19.9857. We have three sig figs, so we've got to round it there. So we'd have to say 20.0, right, which is our answer there. How high is the cliff? Well, we went down from the top, right? That's what this means, 23.1 meters, right? So. You know, we, the height of the cliff must be 23.1 meters, right? 0.1 meters, right? Now, what's the velocity in vector component notation? Well, that's velocity of impact is final, right? So that's this here, right? Right, so the final velocity is using the right? And when she hits, that velocity over is 9 point, um, 0.21, right? And then down, it's going to be 
21.2877, right? So you would write it 9.21 meters per second in the x hat minus 21.3 meters per second in the y hat, right? I'm just using sig figs there, right? And then to figure out the, um, the angle magnitude now, right, we have to find this angle right there. Okay, and that angle right there is tan minus 1 of opposite, right, so 21.2877 over 9.21. Okay, so 21.2877, whoops, clear, inverse tan of 21.2877 divided by 9.21, and I'm in radius. Okay, degrees, enter, clear, second entry. And this is, this ends up being 66.6 degrees. Okay, coincidence? I think not. Okay, that's the angle there, 66.6 degrees. And then this, this thing here, the, the magnitude, is of course the square root of 9.21 squared plus 2877 squared, right? It's the square root of that. 9.21 squared plus 21.2877 squared. Remember, don't put the negatives in because your TI calculators don't deal with those gracefully. 23.2 meters per second. So you'd say it's 23, I get 23.1946 or something like that. So 23.2 meters per second at an angle of 66 degrees below the horizontal uh, is what we'd have, right? If somebody said, what's the speed, that's the speed. Speed is that. This is our speed of impact, right? Yay. Okay, so that's just a simple cliff problem. Remember, on cliff problems, you're projected horizontally, so there's no initial velocity. Most of them, you know the height of the cliff, and you calculate the time. Remember, time you can kind of castle across. Once you calculate it on either side, you can. it's the same time. Okay, So uh, that's a basic projectile motion problem. Uh, the next one will be a real humdinger.